how do you today define resilience? Well, we're looking at resilience as having two parts. One is what we refer to as acceptance resilience and the other is tr strategic resilience. One's perhaps more passive and one's perhaps a more active approach. Both have their places. Um, probably what we see uh, is more of an emphasis on the strategic or the problem solving approach to resilience. But it's not to say that sometimes it's just better to say, okay, um, I can't do much about this right at this moment. I'm just going to accept the situation. You can be resilient, go, yeah, I'll, I'll get through this and keep doing the same thing. Or you can be resilient, yeah, I'm going to get through this. But assess what happened, modify behaviour, execute that modification deliver a better result. Cope, understand and thrive in the face of adversity. Is the ability to persevere and persist, as simple as that. How do you define resilience, whether it's yourself or at the Collingwood Football Club? Well, it's a great question. Um, uh, unfortunately, resilience is learning on the job, I think. It's having the ability to overcome any sort of setbacks or challenges um, emotionally. Persistence. It's probably about determination. It's showing that every time you get knocked down, you're gonna stand up and fight for your rights and give it your very, very best. Yes, resilience is just a fancy word for being composed under pressure, being optimistic, being confident, keeping your head up, not getting it right today, next week, or the month after, but still trying. That's it. Simple. <laughs>